salute salute to everybody welcome everybody god bless everybody thank you for stopping by today we have an amazing show for you we're gonna get right into it a true puerto rican hero the puerto rican ramble okay this show is about a puerto rican hero by the name of jorge otero barreto sergeant rock a true veteran you know what i'm saying like big shout out to to our brother you know what i'm saying he he risked his life out there for all of us and that's definitely a blessing you know what i mean big shout out to my uncle that also served the military you know what i'm saying my grandfather or right. big shout out to them we salute you all right so we're gonna get right into it Sergeant First Class Jorge A. Otero Barreto, born born April 7th. I'm sorry, born April 7th, 1937, aka the Puerto Rican Rambo and Sergeant Rock, is a former United States Army soldier. He earned 38 military decorations during his career and has been called the most decorative U.S. soldier of the Vietnam War. He has received recognition from numerous organizations and has had buildings named after him. He is also the main subject of Brave Lords, a documentary about the Puerto Rican experience in the war in Vietnam. Isn't that great, my people? That's something beautiful and, and just magnificent, right? Early years, Otero Barreto was born in the town of Vega Baja, Puerto Rico, the son of Eloy Otero Bruno and Crispina Barreto Torres. His father named him Jorge, Spanish for George, after George Washington, whom Otero Bruno admired in Vega Baja. Otero Barreto received his primary and secondary education. He attended college for three years studying biology until 1959 when he joined the U.S. Army, which he chose over medical school in Spain. After his basic training, he continued to train with the 1 and 1st Airborne Division in Fort Campbell, Kentucky, graduating in 1960. This is a veteran here, guys. You know what I'm saying? Salute to our veterans. God bless our veterans. Okay? So let's continue reading. Vietnam War. From 1961 to 1970, Otero Barreto served five tours in Southeast Asia, starting as the advisor who helped train Vietnam's troops. According to the documentary, Brave Lords, Otero Barreto served in very various military units during his military career. He served in the 101st Airborne Division and the 21st and the 25th Infantry Infantry, I'm sorry, and the 25th Infantry Division. Tropic Lightning. So he was part of Tropic Lightning. He also served in the 82nd Airborne Division and in the 173rd Airborne Brigade. He participated in two hundred combat missions this man was really a ramble you know what i'm saying like you heard what i said he participated in 200 okay combat missions was wounded five times and was awarded 38 military decorations among his many decorations are two silver stars five bronze stars with uh, with valor four army commendation medals five purple hearts and five air medals referred to as puerto rican ramble or sergeant rock otero barreto has been called the most decorative puerto rican veteran and media and some organizations have called him the most decorated soldier in the vietnam war however nbc news said that robert l howard may have been the most highly decorated American soldier of the modern era. Why KWTX TV states that Howard was said to be the most decorated service member in the history of the United States. 
John Plaster in his 1998 book, SOG, The Secret Wars of America's Commandos in Vietnam states that Howard remains in this day the most highly decorative American soldier. Otero Barreto was highly decorated during Vietnam and is possibly the most decorative Puerto Rican veteran of the Vietnam War living today. He is still alive to this day. God bless his soul. For sure, man. We salute you, my brother, for all the pain, you know what I'm saying, that, that you went through and whatnot and for all your services and to all the servicemen out there, to all my my people, my, 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 my grandfather, you know what I'm saying, my uncles, I salute you. Silver Stars. Otero Barreto earned both his Silver Stars in the first months of 1968, a period dominated by the Tet Offensive. A member of Company of First Battalion, Airborne 502 um, Second Infantry, assigned to the 1 and 1 Airborne Division, 2nd Brigade. Otero Barreto won his first Silver Star in action in 17. On 17th of February near Huang Tri, the brigade was part of Operation Jeb Stewart, while the second came north of Hugh on May 1st, part of the Operation Corinthians II. During the 17th February fight, Otero Barreto unit has was operating near Quan Tri when they encountered concealed enemy positions and came under heavy fire. Then a staff, a staff sergeant, Otero Barreto, took control of a machine gun. According to the Silver Star citation, the gunner had been wounded and the assistant gunner killed and covered the withdrawal of his platoon until he expanded all the gun's ammunition. Wounded during the fight, he also organized the unit's orderly withdrawal from the area. His second Silver Star was awarded less than three months later on the 1st of May and came during Operation um, Corinthian the second north of Hugh. Still with company, a although promoted to Platoon Sergeant Otero Barreto unit was occupying defense positions near village when they came under attack. According to the award citation, the attackers were part of the 8th Battalion, 90th North Vietnamese Army Regiment and were trying to break through the cordon established around the village. The attacks began at 04, 1500 hours and after three assaults failed, the NVA fell back into the village. According to the award citation, Otero Barreto led his squad into the village, neutralizing several defensive positions in the process and positioned his squad to provide covering fire so the rest of the company could advance. Otero Barreto later earned a Bronze Star with Echo Company's Recon Platoon on the 3rd of December, 1968. His man was a veteran, man. Salute, salute to this veteran. Definitely, man. We, we, we definitely remember you for all what you have done for us. Okay? Definitely. Thank you. Okay, let's continue. Post-war honors. On the 22nd of June, 2012, Otero was the Kenyoti speaker at a Vietnam Veterans Memorial Dinner in Lauren, Ohio. On the 1st of September 2006, the Colonization National Puerto Rican Colonization Nacional Puerto Rican National Puerto Rican Collision honored Otero um, Barreto with a Lifetime Achievement Award in the conference held at the Hotel Hilton of Chicago. The Kenyote speaker was U.S. Congressman Luis Guterres. A transitional home for veterans in Springfield, Massachusetts, the Sergeant Jorge Otero Barreto, homeless veterans um, transitional home, was also named after Otero Barreto. The home is managed by the Vietnam Veterans of America Chapter 
um, hashtag 866 in Springfield, Massachusetts. The home is part of a program named the Jorge Otero Barreto Homeless Veterans Traditional Program, Transitional Program, I'm sorry, which houses 12 veterans. The program offers counseling, DVA services from the veter from the Western Massachusetts Bilingual Veterans Outreach Center, assistance in obtaining Chapter 115 financial assistance, AA NA. Meetings and Christian Rehabilitation Substances Abuse Meetings. The town of Vega Baja that dedicated its military museum to Otero Barreto and named it the Jorge Otero Barreto Museum. On the 2nd of October 2012, Otero Barreto was named Vega Baje, Vega Bajareño del Año en Servismo Civic Citizen of the Year of Vega Baja. Otero Barreto was featured in the documentary film Brave Lords. Go check that film out. A perspective on the war in Vietnam as experienced by Puerto Rican soldiers. In June 2016, Lieutenant General Joseph Anderson presented distinguished member of the 502nd Infantry, Infantry Regiment Award to Otero Barreto, honoring him for his valor in the Vietnam War. Otero Barreto's name is one of, the, of those displayed on a wall of honor at Fort Campbell in Kentucky. So guys, this man has won numerous, um, how can I say, medals just for his, his, his dedication and, and his work and him defending our country. You know what I mean? God bless you. I thank you so much, you know, for, for this, man. It's so great. So great to, to definitely, you know, definitely, definitely, man. Uh, have you represent us the way you did you know what i mean with honor and everything i appreciate you and i appreciate everybody that came in here god bless you you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying for for stopping by and, and basically experiencing this with me so real quick i'm gonna address the the chat room so see who we have in here big shout out to felipe rivera danny divine Star Tala, we got Chip McChipperson. Thank you so much. Notorious Block, Crystal. If I forgot everybody, I'm sorry. But yeah, definitely, man. Big shout out to everybody out there. So yeah, this is basically what what it is. You know what I'm saying? This is a hero. Definitely a hero. I hope you guys love the the tribute that I did for Jorge Otero Barreto. But definitely, man, this this man is, is a hero. He represented us. He he did what he had to do, you know, and, and, and I salute him for that. You know, he, he risked him his life. You know, what I mean, he held his people down. You know what I'm saying? He really did. Even though when they were, you know, what I'm saying in trouble, you know, what I'm saying like he took hits. <clears throat> he went out there and fought while he was taking hits. Come on, man. That's that's just amazing. That's that's outstanding. You know what I'm saying? But definitely a big shout out to Otero. Yeah, definitely, man. Hi, Crystal. Hi, everybody. Hey, Notorious. You want to come up here and talk a little about them? You know, I want to shed light. You know what I mean? Anybody that wants to come up here and basically talk about Jorge Otero and everything he he stands for. You know what I'm saying? Everything he stands for, the Puerto Rican culture, for basically for the American culture, because he also helped defend the United States of America. Okay, this man was not scared. This man, he held it down. Regardless, you know what I'm saying? While he was on the fire, he held it down. You know what I'm saying? But definitely, man, big shout out to 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 everybody. You know what I'm saying? God bless y'all, man. I want to thank everybody that came by to support the show on this great tribute to a great hero, a true Puerto Rican Rambo, George Otero Barreto, Sergeant Rock. God bless you and thank you for your services. Salute. God bless.